Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here and today we are doing something that I've actually wanted to do for quite a long time and that is a demo review, yeah baby, we're going to get stuck into a good old fashioned demo review. Now, uh, the player I've chosen for this uh, first demo review on the channel is Nico of G2, obviously, one of the best players in the world and had an incredible end to the year just gone, 2021. Uh, and basically, I just wanted to do a demo of his because I didn't watch enough of his games. Reasonable, through the smoke. So what we got here from Na'Vi, they were just setting up a relatively simple inner play, it looks like. But they haven't really committed yet. They were just going to commit, I think, to a fairly simple inner pop. Potentially try and drop one down vents, but it seems they've kind of given up on that and slowed down. So not much going on here. We're going to skip through this a little bit. All right, so obviously Na'Vi get down to inner. Nico on the rotate. Let's see what the boy can do from door. This is quite a nice position for a USP versus Glocks. Um, interestingly, he goes behind the silo. You're a little bit more committed here. Probably not what I would have done, but mm, slightly easier to kind of pick and take your jewels. So I don't hate it. Obviously trying to be aware of the backstab. Doesn't know where Na'Vi could be. Doesn't know if one dropped vents, for example. Awareness 100. Oh, beautiful. Mm, damn. Still really paranoid about vent drop behind him. So it seems to think for sure that somebody vent dropped. Just trying to play time now so that Amonet can get in a decent position. Not the best flashbang. Just playing for time here. Trying to waste an obvious time as much possible. Yeah, there you go. To allow Amonet to get in the position, Nico should now win this one. Funny that he let the bomb go down there. Wonder if he slightly got the timing wrong on that one. Ah, it's really unfortunate. Yeah, I think he got the timing a little bit wrong in his head on whether the bomb could go down or not there. I think he thought it didn't have time to go down, potentially. And so that he, I think he thought Perfecto had tapped it, which is why he did the whole door thing. Anyway, it's unfortunate. Played that really, really well there. Just made sure to take lots of time so that Amonet could get in a good position. That tap on Simple was beautiful. Oh, and the other reason I picked this map is because um, Nico goes ham on this one. Like, you know, you, no spoilers, but spoiler. Um, Nico goes super ham on this map, so it's another reason I wanted to... Now, this is something Nico was doing a lot towards the end of the year, picking up the scout on uh, Force Buys. He was even doing it on T-side, which is kind of bizarre. Yeah, not much you can do there. Right, let's uh, get through the rounds, and here we are. G2 probably going to save here. Nico picking up a deagle. Never a bad idea. One of the best deagle players in the world, of course. Uh, Navi in control of this half right now. Um, it's also always great to get to a good start on the T side of Nuke. Um, one of the more CT sided maps we have in the pool anyway. And the meta's kind of shifted towards being CT sided anyway. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's why you get a Nico Deagle. Ugh. It's gross. It's gr it's actually disgusting what this man can do with the Deagle. Na'Vi trying to get some outside control. I've already taken inner, it looks like. Yeah, they're already taken inner. Can I get the map up? Control? Yeah, there we go. This is actually kind of a dangerous round for Na'Vi. They've got the bomb down, but G2 can recover some weaponry here. Uh, where's the other gun gone down? Did that go down in inner? I didn't see. Yeah, I don't think G2 will go for it. No kit or anything. And they've Yeah, there's the Galil. They've recovered it. They've already recovered two guns. Probably just look for more on the exit. Oh, they're having sort of a look. Yeah, that, that, that'll be the cancel now. Just save the two guns. Now that Hunter's gone down. But yeah, you see why you get a Nico Deagle, because that guy is absolutely... He's so good. He's so good with the Deagle. His aim, like raw, pure aim, might be the best in the game. So good. Right, so now G2 can get a pretty full buy, and they get a nice little cushion. They didn't... They haven't gone for the Galil, fair enough. Um, but the AK means they have a little bit of a cushion 
not much. If they'd have actually... I would have probably kept the Galil. I don't know what happened there if the Galil went down or not. I think it did. Right, so it looks like Nico is going to go... Uh, I was going to say, oh, no, it looked like he was going to try and maybe play a bit more aggressive, but potentially not. Very classic spam with the A1S. Classic spam anyway, but even better with the A1S. Good awareness from Nico to know that outside um, is being contested here. Electronic will do this every round for Na'Vi. He is literally the dedicated outside player. It looks like G2 were aware of this because obviously they got Amanek down into secret. Yeah, Nico's going to have to rotate here because he's lost his, his secret player. And Na'Vi just kind of have full control of that area of the map. So he can't stay so exposed. So he's going to relocate to ramp here. Try and slow down any potential crunch on ramp. But at this point, if you're G2, you've probably got to be thinking lower is, is likely the possibility. It looks like Nexa has rotated towards ramp. Let's just have a quick look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went up a ramp. So he's come to play with Nico towards outside. So they're kind of pairing up two and two here, G2. God, look at them crack angles he's holding. Them, he's never hitting anyone through there. That's just for info, surely. And yeah, Na'Vi look like they're going to try and work to lower here. Yeah, they're going to ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na'Vi are going to go lower here. They just look a bit perfect or simple going to ramp. Electronic and Boomich are already taking pretty much control. G2 might go for a save here. Um, and it already looks... Yeah, they're already setting up for a save. Yeah. Once you've lost that lower bomb site so cleanly, um, it's a pretty hard retake, especially considering Na'Vi have, like, full control. And with G2's economy in the state that it's in, they're just... It, it makes perfect sense to just save here. All right, let's uh, zoom through this. Sorry if that audio like sucks. I might try and mute that audio. I don't know how annoying it is for you guys. All right, so another buy obviously from G2. Um, Jack's had the money. It's all good. They now do have a buffer where they probably can afford to lose a round with guns going down and still buy. And back to outside we go. Yeah, playing it more aggressively now. You've got to have these switch ups. I think if you're going to play outside CT, you need to have like more aggressive setups. You can't just give up outside for free. You need to take some yard control. Oh, M4 against AK. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky for, for Nico there. M4 against AK. Not much you can do. Let's just... See what happens in this round. Simple's gonna like murder some people at ramp. 3v2. Yeah, they don't go for the full retake. Cool. So now things are starting to look rough for G2 in this half. As I can say, they can get a buy out here. Um, they saved two guns, both AKs, which is nice, and they have money to drop around, so. But Na'Vi are building up a pretty chunky bank. So Na'Vi could take a couple of losses on the chin and still buy. It's starting to look like rough for G2 in this half now. I wonder if he'll go for the aggressive approach again. It doesn't look like it. It looks like he's going to play towards Mini. Oh, uh, he's sort of playing a bit more aggressive than he had. Nah, now he's fully peaced now. Oh, no, he's going for the, for the jump up. Yeah, as you can see, Electronic working outside on his own again. Electronic is just there every single round. Going for the spam. It looks like G2 don't really have a read of what's going on just yet. Okay, it looks like they have some sort of read now. Okay, yeah, it's the, they know it had gone down to earth. They, they... Yeah, I'm not sure how G2 kind of got, like, bamboozled there and that Na'Vi just got lower for free. I think that's why Nico had gone spamming that smoke, maybe, but... Yep, nice, cool, easy kill. This is still going to be a very rough retake. A lot of time ticking. Na'Vi had, like, all the angles covered. Really, really ratty position for Nico there. Oh, he can't find the bomb. Yeah. They're a really hard retake there. I think G2 have to go for it. They need to start winning rounds. Um, and they took a lot of Na'Vi guns with them, but it is, that's fairly irrelevant at this point. G2 can actually cobble together another buy with Amanek saving that AWP. He can probably drop a... He probably will just go for the M4 drop, yeah. 
Obviously, Nico gets the drop because he's Nico. So nothing too crazy from Nico now. Those two really good deagle kills, but um, really he's not been all too involved in the game. Navi has kind of been able to avoid him by and large. Ah, uh, here we go. So switch up in positions. I think based on the fact that Navi have kind of been abusing these this lower bomb site, so Nico is now going to go down to secret. Yeah, so they're watching for the vent drop this time. I think Navi realized uh, Navi. I think G2 realized that they've been abused too much at the lower bomb site here. So now they've decided to switch up the hold a little bit. There. Let me have a quick look. What are they? Um. No, nope, I've forgotten my freaking demo binds. No, what was my pause key? There's my pause key. Um. So let's just have a quick. I want to have a quick look at the hold here from uh, from G2. Next to ramp. So yeah, they have just kind of given up outside and Nico's gonna play um from secret. But it's another switch up on the hold, and as you can see, Nico hasn't really held outside the exact same way any two rounds. Looks like electronics are vaguely aware of this though, just looking at that from, from an X-ray point of view. Let me know if you want X-ray on or off in these. Yeah, that's good. That's good damage. Ooh, damn. Unfortunate on that nade. So this is a rough round for Navi now because Boomich has already gone down. Electronics on 1 HP. Um, honestly, if I'm Navi, I'm, I'm very much considering calling... Uh, yeah, their cash is kind of drained away very quickly. I might even be considering a save, honestly. Like, straight up. I might have been considering a save. I might have sacked, like, one more person. But yeah. So yeah, just good play from Nico there. Just not overextending. He got the dink. He could have gone searching for that kill, but he doesn't know if anybody's supporting. Electronic goes down. Not the easiest duel for Nico there. But yeah, this round uh, is obviously donezo. Right. Let's go. So G2 are getting back into this game now. Navi are basically a breaking point. They can cobble together some sort of buy next round, depending on what situation happens with drop guns. Man, Nico's one of the only people who still buys the scoped weapons. Yeah, okay, so he wants to hold from garage, which is, I think, why he's gone for the scope. He wants to hold from, like, the longest angle. And I don't think he cares quite so much about being mobile. He's basically going to commit to, to fighting from Garage here. Um, he doesn't need to be quite as mobile. So I think that's probably the reason that the A1S wasn't picked up here. But Nico's one of the few players who still buys the scoped rifles. I think you see the org a little bit on CT side. But he's the only guy who's buying the SG on T side. But he's Nico, so he can get away with it. He's heard those steps, obviously, towards secrets, so he has some info. Again, another switch up, by the way. This is just something I um I want to emphasize is on CT side, you can't just be playing the same position every round. You need to be switching up. Even if it's only slightly, you need to be switching up how you're holding. And nico has been so dynamic in holding outside here. He literally hasn't played the same way any two rounds in a row, basically. Okay, so obviously now he knows that ramp is being here. He's rotating to ramp here. He's gonna go for the backstab. He hits all the steps. 4v4, so this is totally doable. Where is everyone? Yep, okay. So G2 are in a pretty good spot to make this retake potentially work. Jax is a little bit far away. He's obviously running now. Nah, now it's kind of done. Good shot from Nico. Now it's just out. Yeah, just call it. Yeah, so G2 having a really rough time of it. Uh, that lower bomb site is getting um, is really really troublesome. They're really struggling to hold, uh, and they're just basically conceding plants on that lower bomb site every round. Yeah, they need they need to find a better way of, of dealing with lower. They're just not handling it at all. This is frustrating for Nico because he hasn't really been able to get into the game all too much. Navi haven't really come to out like utilize the outside very much at all. They basically only used it once, I think, to get down into secret, and then apart from that, they just haven't they haven't really gone through um, mini. 
they haven't they've really just avoided nico uh, outside which uh, i i really fully appreciate that from navi i think they've basically said as long as we avoid nico on the ct side like our, our t side's gonna be fine as long as we just don't walk into the the brick wall that is nico okay another switch up here going yep yeah, another switch up in the holds this time I think giving up outside to go for the secret hold again and to stop the lower drop, uh, the vent drop, sorry. Yeah, he's going to run into some people here. They've gone very, very quickly here, Navi. This is a favourable angle, yeah. Even though the T has the right eye advantage there, the way that angle plays, it just is slightly favourable for the CT, I feel like. You have to expose, like, kind of wide to get that fight as a T. So yeah, just great, great understanding from Nico there that the lower bomb site's a problem. So he needs to focus less on holding outside and being careful of like the wrap heaven, for example, where you wrap all the way through outside, you know, climb up um, and get to, to heaven. He needs to worry more about lower um, for the moment because Navi are just rinse and repeating that lower site basically. Good hold from G2 on this one. Um, as you can see, if they can just stop that like lower just falling apart, then they're kind of okay, G2. And so I ex expect they finally... And they haven't really broken them because Bit can drop. Yeah. Oh God, G2 made this half so hard for themselves by like getting into such a pit economically because Na'Vi could just buy, 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 buy. Uh, oops, wrong button. Yeah, I knew a timeout was coming. It was just the right sort of time. Oh, no. No tech. No tech. Come on. Get rid of the tech. Get rid of the tech. There we go. Sheesh. Oh, another slight switch up. Going for a more aggressive approach to holding door. His steps outside, so he knows somebody's out there, but you know Electron's going to be out there anyway. Again, okay, so he's going with what has kind of worked. Um, he heard the presence outside. Now I think he's reconsidering exactly how much presence there is outside, which is why I think he's coming up to have a look here. So he threw that smoke down so that if anybody got really fast into secret, they kind of slowed down. So now he has some, some time to investigate and think about what's going on outside. I think he still thinks somebody was quite fast and that maybe there's a little bit more presence than there is outside. Judging from the way he's playing. Doesn't seem too worried about door. Okay, yeah, now he's going to silently... Still a little bit worried that somebody might have gotten down into secret. But I think now they should probably be thinking, right, I don't think anybody's secret. It's, uh, yeah, I think now G2 are aware it is likely to be an upper hit. Interesting to see if Na'Vi consider this position from Nico. So Nico is basically chilling, yeah, exactly for this. He's chilling because he knows that if the upper hit hits a wall, what Na'Vi will do is they will look to try and drop somebody into the uh, Yeah, great, great awareness and play from Nico. Two super easy kills, but he knows that there's already three of his teammates in upper, so he doesn't need to, like, get all antsy and try and get up the vents to help his team. He can wait on that vent play and... It's not very likely that Na'Vi are going to be kind of expecting him to be so close in vent ready to come up so quickly. So he can just sort of chill there, wait for the round to play out a little bit. And as you can see, two free kills just fell into his lap. He's really cerebral, Nico. That's the thing. Is like his aim is sick, obviously, but he actually is like a super intelligent player and makes the right decision nine times out of ten. Okay, so another switch up on the hold. Um, is he going to help hold ramp? Nope, he's going for secret again. He doesn't want to be heard getting to secret, which is why he doesn't go for the vent drop, because there's a potential that a T close to door can hear you do the vent drop uh, as a CT. They'll hear you but shoot out the vent or um, or drop. So he's gone for a silent route down to secret. Finally, Na'Vi on the economic all purchase, which is good for G2. They might be able to grab another couple of rounds without too much fuss. Um, they need to grab this one cleanly, though, I think, and start to build up a bit of a bank of their own. Otherwise, this half is going to get away from them. Yep, okay, he's seen simple. 
Not overexposing because he doesn't want to just get run down by pistols. Mm, that's a cheeky little cheeky little smoke. So he can keep an eye on the uh, on silo. And he still can do this angle, but it's harder for the CTs to kind of, yeah, run him down. Yeah, G2 should know what's going on here. That in here. Oh, that's so funny that he spots that boost. What were, what were Marty looking for there? How did they not, like, see him and get off the boost? Although, it's not really a boost. It's more of a stack. Ooh, good awareness. Almost had better. Ooh. Yeah! Some Nico taps. Like, nothing super spectacular from Nico here, but he's, like, got 12 kills. It just shows you that, like... You don't have to do anything super crazy all the time to be very efficient. And that's kind of what Nico is doing here. He's being super efficient. Like, minimal effort for most of these frags. Obviously, some of them super nice, like uh, that those Deagle shots earlier. Um, the USP taps from, from back of silo on that B hit. But in general, like, not too much effort for a lot of these kills. Super crisp and clean and efficient in getting the kills when he gets the opportunities. But, like, you know generally just putting himself in, in in really good situations okay big outside presence i i think g2 should feel like this is going to be excellent lineup through the smoke Free kill there. yeah it, it looks like that yeah so aware wow just super aware yeah it's real shame to lose those two kills there was that a door or was that pushing there was a bit there. I think I was pushing lobby, man. Why are they pushing lobby? That's a little bit dumb from uh, Jackson Hunter there. It was Jackson Hunter, right? Don't know why I'm doing that. I'm not going to see it. Nico's just missed the guy going down secret there, which is super unfortunate. But he has heard the utility. So, yeah, Amonex on the backstab. Okay, so he's making sure nothing's coming to lobby while Amonex going to get the info outside and Nico can be outside to help him fight. This is a winnable round. This is, like, very winnable. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Bit got Nico, though. Ah, that's super unfortunate. Super unfortunate. Bit should win this. This is a really hard clutch for Amonex. Yeah. This is super hard for Amonex. Is he even going for it? Mm, I don't like this. He's using up too much of his time, I think, here. That's why he's a pro player and I'm not. I totally overestimated how much time he was going to use going for that. No, it's fair, fair play. So, really, really good from G2 to win that round. And great from, uh, from Amanek there. To get that one over the line. It looked like they thrown it when when Bit kind of got the entry on Nico. It looked like Amanek was going to have a really rough time winning that 2v1, but absolute dead play. Did what he needed to do. Another heavy outside presence from Na'Vi. I think that G2 should... Oh, careful, Nico. Yeah, okay, so it seems like... It seems like G2 understand the heavy outside presence. Na'Vi have kind of only thrown these smokes when... Good kill. I've only thrown these smokes when um, they've gone for a super, super heavy outside presence. So it's kind of like Navi have have telegraphed that, I think, because the two times they've gone for like really heavy outside presence, they've thrown those smokes. I can only remember one other time they threw them in this half. So not really keeping G2 guessing there. I think Navi need to probably throw those smokes a little bit more um, so that it's not obvious. Like, throw them and then just send the electronic out behind them. Right, G, this should be a simple retake for G2. They're in position for this. Electronic's basically dead. Be a real blunder if G2 were to chuck this one away. Electronic's on his angle, though. Ah, really nice smoke. Really, really nice. Ooh, next we got him. Okay, I thought uh, that they'd been lined up there. Yep, that's cool. For a second, I thought they'd been lined up, and I was like, wow, if Boomich lined up Nico and next to there, like, that is so losable. <laughs> but they get 
the job done. Taste his knife is called Taste the Rainbow. Ah, messing up the smokes. So that molly is to stop a particular smoke landing. Um, not the normal cross smokes, but I think the one that goes a little bit deeper. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Whew. I thought he was going to just miss that attempt at like uh, getting in behind the vent. Yeah, super good positioning. Yeah, just read that hit like a book. Got up on top of, uh, of Hut, which is like the best place to kind of stop those plays from. Because you can just take jewels either side. It's really hard to kill you cleanly because you're looking up at somebody. Super hard to hit their head. And you're looking down on them, so all you can see is their head, basically. Just good positioning from Nico there. Understanding the situation, just controlling it very, very smoothly. Right, should we have a quick look at Simple then? I know this is a Nico, but like Simple's in the 1v3 clutch. Let's have a look. Let's have a see what he's doing. So he's going for lower. Cool. Very unlikely to get anywhere at upper, so this makes a lot of sense. Don't know why it's called Fraternity. Don't get that. The knife, I mean. Right, I think he's going to get that bomb down here. I'm surprised you two don't have somebody slightly uh, closer to lower. Because they have just kind of given up the bomb entirely. I guess they don't know how healthy Simple is, and maybe they're thinking, like... We need to uh, stick close in case Simple just like wrecks our anus. Yeah, that was the chance there. He needed to just get that clean kill on Nico, and he did not. All right, cool. So G2 uh, re recovered what was looking like a really poor half. They were in a very, very bad situation, um, sort of at the midpoint of this half, and they've really recovered it quite nicely. So. And Nico just an incredibly efficient half on the CT side. Mostly just about positioning, constantly switching up uh, the way he's holding. And his aim is just so effortless. That's the thing, is, is whenever you give Nico an opportunity, his aim is so good, he's going to get it every single time. And his positioning and the, the intelligence in the way he plays gives himself so many like relatively simple opportunities. He's heard that Ven drop. Okay, they know this is a lower hit. Yeah, they're just straight away. Nico's going to beeline for ramp. Yep, yep, yep. Makes a lot of sense. Throws the same smoke to keep the control room smoked off. Well, not exactly the same, but a very similar smoke. Yeah, easy retake. Waits for his buddy. All good in the hood. Cool, that's the half. So, 8-7 at the half. Recovered what was kind of a disaster of a half there, G2. So, fair play to them. All right, let's skidaddle through this bad boy. <laughs> T-coach, G2. Oh, I paused. I don't know if I'm going to edit this out or not. We'll see. Right, so Nico's got the raid boss set up. He's got the P250 and the armor. Why wouldn't you give one of the best players in the world the raid boss set up? Like, they do this... Uh, Na'Vi do this with Simple a lot on the T side as well. I didn't see if they did it this game, but they will do this a lot where they'll drop him a P250. Ready for this push. I wonder if this is a... Uh... Yeah, not super clean from Nico there. Which is, this is a shame because it seemed like uh, G2 were like very ready for that l that push from ramp. Uh, and they just kind of didn't hit the shots. Like it seemed like they had that red. Yeah. Just going to get nothing done. Yeah, that's a real shame. G2 seemed very aware of what was coming there and they just did not hit their shots. So, and surprisingly, Nico didn't hit his shots, which um, you would have expected him to get at least one head there. So G2 have gone for the force up. Probably just going to go for something simplistic towards upper. Um, I think that's probably the best thing to do with these kind of guns. Um, ooh, that must have been very, very close. Okay, he's down, which is important. 
Getting somebody into that secret area and taking that map control just means that you, as a CT, have to think a lot more about the potential of backstabs through lower. Like, there's so many places that if you don't have someone there keeping an eye on it, that Nico can get to by going down into secret. I think it's just a really key um, area of the map for the T's to manipulate if they want to have success on the T side of this map. You don't always have to get somebody into secret, but you need to make the T's, uh, CTs cognizant of secret and think about secret and aware that someone could be there. They've thrown the wall of smokes. You know, someone might have gotten down there. And also just the rotation back to be able to join the upper hit, which is, I think, what Nico's going to do here is so quick. Yeah, it looks like they're grouping up in lobby for a very simplistic upper hit. I want Nico a bit closer here. I think think he's trying to catch oh they're gonna go for the drop yeah, yeah yeah okay so they've turned this into a lower hit again and this is why secret is so important because you can turn it almost immediately into a lower hit it's so so important unlucky he's hit a shoulder there might have even been through the uh, wall yeah this one's donezo saved the m4 which is cool i assume that that's going to stay with nexa because i don't think anybody is going to get armor for that one <sighs> sorry not this game this game ain't boring i'm just you know having a yawn right what are we gonna see here from this round's not super exciting i might skip through this if anyone happens we'll just have a little look the reason i don't skip through it is because nico has a deagle Oh, his little tootsies got warm there. Oh, out he goes. Yeah, just looking to catch somebody, like, wandering about outside. Yep, gonna get into that secret area again. Now, what are G2 gonna do? They look like they're ready to just pile up through secret. So they're kind of sending Nico out on his own. And this is why Nico is like such an amazing star player is because he does so much on his own. Like they just send him out on his lonesome to get information and make plays and get entry kills. He does this on Inferno B site a lot where he will just run up banana on his own and just just take fights and kill two people. Yeah, they're just dropping like flies now. I would have liked G2 just to group up into secret there. I'm not going to criticize too much because it's an eco round, but I think they kind of just spread out and take loads of 1v1s and like you're just going to lose on a pistol round if you do that like nine times out of ten unless everybody's got deagles and everybody hits a nice shot, which happens sometimes in pro play, don't get me wrong, but I think in general the higher expected value play is to just everyone get everyone group up and hit something in trade. Nice. Okay, there you go. There you go. That that See, that's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. They literally just proved my point that that happens. No way is he going to win this round, dude. He can't win this round. No, okay. I didn't even see the time there, but yeah, whatever. After all of that, oh man, this is this is what I mean. That's why I don't skip the round, because Nico with a deagle, he'll just suddenly go bananas. Start ripping everyone's nut off. Nut, like, then 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 noggin. Okay, and we're going to see Nico go outside because that's where he likes to be. He likes the fresh air. He likes the sky above him and like the, the wind in his hair. Ooh, electronic fight. Oh, Nico is high level of awareness here. Good clear from G2 there to flash electronic out of that position. Just good standard protocol for outside there, it seems. Why are you getting the deagle out, you crazy boy? Put it away. Was he maybe thinking an AWPA? The fact that he switched immediately away from the Deagle, maybe he was hoping for a one tap on an AWPA. Maybe he thought Simple might be down there in secret, might rotate in. Okay, so the death of Nexa was the go signal for G2 to just go ham YOLO on the lower site. I like this Nico getting a little bit closer and taking a bit of room away from the CTs. They need to do something here, G2. Make some sort of play, which is what Hunter, I think, is doing on the Lurk at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he dies, though. Yeah, this is rough now for G2. 
they needed that. They needed a play to get made somewhere because they're in a disadvantage retake, but... Good shot. Good. Well played, Avanek. Yeah, just Nico is worrying about too many angles there. Good retake, though, from uh, Navi, to be honest. Oh, well, they didn't get it. Fair play. It's a win for G2. Now, the Navi economy is in a weird place. The G2 economy is kind of in a weird place, but they can buy. Nico's gone for the SG. What a crazy, crazy character he is. Honestly, I think the gun's trash. Um, but because Nico's so accurate on the first bullet, it kind of works. Okay, so he knows the AWP is outside now. He doesn't give a crap. He's going to go looking for it. Oh, is he going to catch him? I think Simple's going to have the awareness on this one. Yeah, but they force Simple back. They're going to get into secret. No worries. Is Electronic going to make some info play? No, it looks like he's just going to tuck in Mini and chill out. Nico really, really hoping for a repeat from Simple. It's not going to come. So I think it's... Oh, okay. Next to almost went down to the spam there. Making a hell of a lot of noise. Oh, Hunter's found some success uh, from Lobby. Oh, Nico, this is a ratty play. Yeah, super ratty. Super ratty. That's a manipulation of the info he knows that Na'Vi have there. He knows someone's come through lobby. He knows they've heard someone run towards heaven from outside. So the likelihood is nobody's going to be expecting a mini push right then, especially not through a smoke. So just a good mental picture that Nico built of the round there and of the info that the... And look at this awareness. Just crazy awareness from Nico that whole round. Just built, like, the perfect mental picture of, of the information and, and the knowledge that the CTs had and then, like, abused that. And then just great awareness to obviously, like, uh, know where Simple was going to be coming from. Okay, so G2 are now in the driving seat for this game. They are on the T side, which is tough. But they are in the driving seat. They should get this round. What's the loss bonus like? Yeah, Navi aren't going to have like the perfect buy next round. It's going to be a little bit short. Oh, nice and clean. Oh, very well played from Boomage though. That's with the... I think that was with the P250. Was that with a P250? Oh, pause, but that's fast through, yeah, because G2 should just put this round to bed, as they do. Good job, G Tizzle. Ah, oh. yeah, Navi timeout. Was it Navi? Yeah, it was a Navi timeout. Yeah, Navi really need to win this round, or the game is going to start to get away from them. They'll have to take another eco. They got no cash in the bank, they will 100% have to take another eco, or a partial buy. So basically, this is the round Navi need to win to stop the game kind of having like just got away from them completely. Ooh. The fire means he doesn't see that. Yeah, Nico a little bit nervous now because if somebody's in secret, then they might try and like double peek him. So forced a little bit passive. It's going to be an upper hit and Nico's going to come late through mini. Um, they could try and convert it into a lower hit with Nico coming through uh, for a secret lurk. But I suspect we're going to get the upper hit and Nico will come late through mini. Navi are kind of set up for that though. So, like, oh no, they do have some people. Oh, one's kind of pushed. So they've pushed up bit. Boomich is going lower. Where's Simple gone? Simple's coming as well. Mm, actually, they're not so perfectly set up. They do have a quick backstab if uh, G2 do go upper, though. Okay. 
Uh, they tried to turn that into a lower hit a little bit too late. Yeah, they weren't really in a good position to set that up on the lower hit. It was too late in the round, I think. Nico needed too much time for this backstab. Oh, they might have done it. No, probably. Yes. Oh, we've been getting caught. Oh. Nah. They'll get the bomb down, but yeah, they'll just die. Yeah, I think that was a little late for G2 to try and turn that into a lower hit. Um, Nico was, like, not in a position to kind of help at all. And so, like, he needed too long to try and get to secret, and then dropping through vents again, I think he just was not in the best position to kind of assist that lower, turning that into a lower hit. Right, so Na'Vi win the all-important round. G2 can still buy. G2 will not have a lot of cash next round if they lose this one. So pretty back and forth game, this one. Um, let's see where we go from here. G uh, there is amazing shot. Really, really nice. And a lot more aggressive from Nico that round. Um, just being a lot quicker. Jax now needs to play alive and give Nico time to make this lurk work. Na'Vi should be aware that he could be out here. It doesn't seem like that. No, they didn't play at all like they were aware of it. Yeah, Jax did well to slow down there. Now they got to swing this upper side together. Uh, yeah, rough. Rough when Jax dies first there. Like, if anything, you want Nico to kind of swing out and die first, because Jax can take the first fight, and then you know, but... Right, so now in another rough spot, G2, they're gonna just force up. I think they realise this is their last opportunity to, like, make a real go of this. Their economy was kind of in the bin. Let's see what... See if Nico can get something done outside again. Okay, so... Interesting the simple stuck around there. I don't agree with that decision. Nico, very unfortunate not to get that frag. But yeah, if I'm simple, I do not hang around in that scenario. So they... Na'Vi know that somebody's gone lower now. So they... Uh, sorry, gone secret. So they have to be aware of that. Which is why Boomich is spotting here. Yep, yeah, there you go. I'm just going to play the time. Still a lot of time left in the round, though. So G2 are going to get their hit. Shame to make a sound key there. Clearing out the vents entirely. Yep. And now they just go through decon. Nice one, bang. Not one I've seen before. Super sweaty. Super ratty. G2 are leaving it a little bit late. And they're going to try and turn this back into an upper hit. They've got the frag, so it looks like they're going to be okay. But Perfect and Boomage are kind of here for this. That's rough. That's really rough. They just got lined up. They just got lined up. It was super late to try and turn that into an upper hit. And and Na'Vi, they kind of out like played themselves there, G2. They actually had less resistance at the lower site. They kind of mind game themselves there into going upper. Um yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a timeout called here. Nope. Okay, G2 just don't give a fuck about timeouts. They're just like, we play. Look how calm he was there, man. Two people facing him and he doesn't rush a shot at all. That was crazy. They just didn't panic, didn't rush. Uh, electronic re peeking into that angle, man, is a bit dumb. <laughs> simple gets the trade frag, though, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, this one should just be a simple Navi win. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not necessarily. Yeah, it is. Cool. Right, so G2 need to run this bad boy back. Um, the economy on Navi is not great. Like, Boomich is going to have to take a bad gun. Yeah, the economy on Navi is not great. So if G2 can win this and break Navi here, like, this is very doable still. Like, the economic situation is such that Navi can't really afford to lose too many guns here. Can't afford to lose this. That's unfortunate. Nico eating that nade. 
very quick into secret. Very quick and aggressive kind of move here. Lots of players start to battle. G2 like to do this same eco very aggressively into secret. And then the rest kind of hang around at the top of secret and then wait based on what Nico does. To get either great kill. Is he going to get the second? He hit the best guy. Interesting. Maybe you didn't hear him in the melee. Feels like you should have heard him there. Right, we'll actually um, spectate the rest of this round because, you know, we're getting to the business end of the game. Jax needs this frag. Nope. Match point. Right, let's see. Um, okay, so G2 can cobble together a buy. It's going to be very light on grenades, or a couple of people are going to have to take a hit on the weaponry, which is, I think, what they're going to do. Yep, we're going to get a Galil and a Mac Daddy. We've got two Galils. Yeah, you need grenades on nuke to make anything work. So they're going to throw... Oh, hang on, let's go back to Nico. Oh, Nico going inside here and going fast as fuck. Boy! Straight in for the vent dive. Okay, so Nico doing what he does when uh, the push comes to shove and basically is like, I'm going to do shit. I'm going to make shit happen. I think Na'Vi will have heard that vent drop, but we'll see. Uh, this is not something I think G2 have gone for, like all half. So this might be catching Na'Vi off guard a little bit. Wow, okay, yeah, fair play. Nico uh, absolutely read that one. And they're going to get the lower sight here. No one from Na'Vi. I was going to say no one from Na'Vi too close except for Bit, but Bit just gets his head ripped off. See, this is why Nico's so good as well. When the chips are down, he nuts up and he makes plays. This is just what Nico does. He just puts the game on his back and says, okay, if we're not good enough to win this as a team, let's see if I'm good enough to just carry it. So I suspect Na'Vi will save here because their economy is not in a good spot. They really need to keep uh, rifles up to drop. And yeah, they're just going away to save. So yeah, just <laughs> Nico putting the game on his back there. Super impressive stuff. Yep, yeah, Na'Vi with another pause. Na'Vi will use up all their pauses. Was that a tap or was that a, a tech? Don't know. Okay, Nico back to outside. Not going to run uh, through vents like a maniac. Now be a little bit light on grenades already. Like if G2 bleed out more utility, this could get a little bit rough for Navi. Boomich in secret. Boomich is key here. He needs to get something done. And he does. Okay, super important. As I said, we're going to spectate uh, some of the others for this one. Because it's getting to the business end of the game. So they've taken control of outside and secret. Lower probably has to be the destination here. Because that upper site is just going to be so tough to crack 4v5. They're not going to be able to pull any rotates. Yeah, they're just all going to stack up secret and just go for a full lower play here. I, I agree with this. I think this is the right call in the scenario. Boomich spotting because this is like the only play that Na'Vi can make, uh, G2 can make. And the second he sees them, yeah, everyone will just go. He'll just play time. Everyone will get on the Rotato. Potato. Boomich is going to die. Yeah, Boomich is going to die. They're needed to just stay alive longer oh bomb goes down yeah that's super rough that should be the game nexa what did nexa die as he was throwing that grenade yeah that that's the game that's handy 100 percent no it's not american hunter hold on they're just banging out my headshots god damn boy yeah that was a huge round from hunter and amanek right at the end there that was so rough when the bomb got dropped in control room that was super rough. Okay, back to our boy Nico. Bam, bam. Good at duh. Right, let's see what he's got. Fairly quick control taking him outside again. The outside smokes are thrown for him. Gives a second for. Okay, Navi have totally given up out of here. 
Obviously, Navi on the eco. This should be a win for G2. Navi just stacking the upper bomb side, basically. Doesn't look like that's where G2 intend to go, though, because they have three down in secret. G2 have kind of started leaning more and more towards the lower site as the half has gone on, because it's the site they've had more success on, which makes, makes sense. As did Navi, actually. I wonder if the meta is going to change... Or I wonder if the meta is going to kind of lean towards this, like, lower being the site. Oh, they're going to do that thing where they try and turn it into an upper hit again. Mm, this has not gone well for G2 basically a single time they've done it. It's on full eco from Na'Vi, so G2 should in no universe lose this round. Yep, there's one. Okay, this should be done and dusted. Just keeping an eye on that potential hell position. Yeah, okay, this should be straightforward now. Yeah, this should be super straightforward. Yep, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got a little bit nervous when uh, G2 started walking towards the Na'Vi stack. Also, just because those secret investigations where they then come back outside and hit upper through with part of the attack coming through mini just haven't worked for them this half when they've tried them. Yeah, oh, I was not trying to pause. I was trying to do the fast through. Fast forward. Right, let's see what we get here. Last round, uh, both teams pretty decent by Na'Vi a little bit short on grenades. So Na'Vi are going to have to win some, some fights here. And I wouldn't be surprised if they play slightly more aggressively, maybe. There you go. Simple. Where did you get that, actually? Hang on, let me just see if I can figure out where that was. Was that outside? No. No, it must have been door. I think that was uh, was through door. Which is, I think, why Nico's trying to get in this position. Oh, okay. He, unfortunate. Um, yeah, he, he was trying to take space and make something happen off of Hunter's early death. Um, this one should be, like, super straightforward. G2 have nothing. They have no compensation, basically, for the for the people going down. they got no space. Should be an easy kill for the... Uh, simple here. Amanek has to... Yeah, Amanek has to try. And so that is the game. Um... Uh, what is the summary? Um, I mean, the summary is, like, Nico played really, really well. Um, <laughs> first guy to disconnect. Um, Nico played really, really well. Um, very, very high ADR. A lot of high impact. Good headshot percentage as well. I think the thing that you have to realize with nico is that he is such an efficient player what i mean by that is that he puts himself in favorable situations as much as he possibly can the only time he puts himself in situations that are maybe a little bit unfavorable and a little bit wild are the situations where he says i need to make a play i need to do something a little bit different i need to throw the opposing team off balance or my team aren't going to get this over the line playing standard so i need to do something to be that x factor and i think that's what makes nico like such an incredible player is he does a lot of that off of his own back like he's not being like right team set me up here here there and there and you know i'll go make something happen he just goes F this, I'm just going to run through a smoke on my own and headshot two people. Or F this, I'm going to take like 65 damage from grenades, drop into vent, and then get a free kill that opens up the round for us. Like he did towards the end of that half. When G2 needed it the very most, by the way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you like this kind of content, let me know and I'll do more. If you have other players uh, that you want me to do or specific games that you want me to do, let me know. Um, I think I want to do a Nico, a simple, and a Zero demo um, from mostly their perspective. And then after that, I'm happy to do more individual players' POVs. I'm happy to do games more holistically, like bounce between, you know, um, look at the demo more as a whole rather than just focusing on one player. Whatever you guys want to see, basically, let me know. Um, you know the drill. Like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, tell your grandma, specifically your grandma, yeah? Because I think that's the crowd I appeal to, you know? And if you don't like it, doors over there. <laughs>